Hi, my name is Peach. Let me not waste your time. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to animate the cube. If this is your first time working with Fusion, I do suggest watching my Fusion Basics tutorial in order to understand what I'm saying. The first thing we're going to do is align up our clips with the footage. So you can see here, I have markers on my music where I wanted to transition. So I'm just going to line up my clips like this. And once we have them set up in the right places, we're going to compound clip the footage. Next, you're going to add a Fusion clip by going to your effects library, to toolbox, to your effects, and adding a Fusion clip on top of your compound clip, adjusting it to the same size as your compound clip. And then we're going to go into Fusion. We then are going to grab a 3D shape node by clicking right here and changing the shape to cube and then adding a 3D render node by clicking right here and connecting it to our media out. Then from our media pool, we're going to get our compound clip and connect it to our shape node. Then when you view the cube, you will see your footage is squished. In order to fix this, you're going to add a crop node and put the resolution to 1080 by 1080 to fix the stretch and then change the offset to 420 in order to center your footage. Now for animating the cube, the first thing I'm going to do is turn my proxy mode to quarter resolution by going to playback, timeline proxy mode, and quarter resolution. Then on the playback controls, I'm going to right click the bar and turn off high quality and motion blur so when i play back the clip it is much easier on my computer now the first part of the cube i'm going to animate is a z offset i want the cube to start real close to the camera then be centered in the screen and then fall back so i'm going to keyframe at the start of the clip and right before the next clip changes at the first keyframe we're going to zoom into the cube like this then we are going to go to the beginning of the last clip and keyframe the start and the end, changing the value from the last keyframe until it's small. For keyframing our rotation, we want to change the rotation order from the first choice to the second choice, which is X, Z, Y. We do this because if we don't, when we rotate the cube, the animation won't work correctly. We first are going to change the horizontal rotation by changing the Y value. At the beginning, I first keyframe the Y value, but don't change the value. At the second keyframe, I'm tilting the cube to the right slightly, and on the third keyframe, I'm rotating the cube to the left for the transition. Now for the second transition, we're going to keyframe the Z rotation to something like this. We want the cube to kind of charge up, so we're going to tilt it downwards and then for the next keyframe we're going to transition it upwards the last transition i'm going to keyframe the horizontal rotation again using what i've been saying having the cube tilt like it's charging up the spin and then having it spin the other way for the transition now as you can see the movements are very stiff but we're going to change that through the spline graphs you can open up your spline page and select all your keyframes and hit s to smooth them now i'm going to go through each of the keyframe segments and move the spline graphs to what i think is the nicest movements for the z offset i'm making an ease in curve for the beginning two keyframes and for the last two keyframes i'm making an ease out curve by holding down control and moving the handle on the keyframe, we're able to only move the certain side of the line that we are adjusting. When rotating the cube, we want the transitions to spin fast and then slow, so I'm going to adjust my graphs like this. Once we are finished spinning the cube, it should look like this. Now we're going to fix the rotation of the image on the cube just by putting a transform where our footage is and keyframing right in between the clips, adjusting the rotation of our footage so Sumi is looking up at us at the right moment. Then I decided to add a border around the footage so it looked like there was an edge border on the cube. After everything was done, what I ended up doing is moving all the keyframes forward by two frames because they didn't line up correctly. And finally, I added motion blur on the 3D render node. If you have any more questions or comments, please leave them down below. Or if you need additional help, you can join the Resolve AMV Discord server where there's a bunch of people that can help you out. Link in the description. Other than that, subscribe and have a good day yo so we're coming up on uh, like a thousand subs and i don't know what i want to do for it of course i'm gonna make an edit for it but kind of want to drop like a pack or something but, like i don't want to put transitions because you know i don't believe in amv transition presets maybe i can put like a project file i did i don't know let me think about it let me know